Welcome back to the Nightlies, guys. Today we're going to do the J-29. This has definitely become one of my favorite planes. I enjoy the absolute hell out of this plane. Definitely, once the Swedish tree comes out, this aircraft's going to be worth it. Going to be worth the buy. Very well balanced. Not too overpowered, but has very forgiving flight style. It has great energy retention. Just overall, a lot of fun. Plus, the guns work. And I cannot stress enough that... That I'm drawn to planes that, that the guns work. In Aiden's, they work. They really do. Now, stack card tells you that these are 30mm ACANs, or automatic cannons. They are license built copies of Aiden's, and they perform exactly the same in the game. I think they might have a little bit higher fire rate, but to me, it, it I don't really notice it that much. Overall, like I said, great, absolutely fun plane to fly. This is a great match. I, I, not to toot my own horn, but I think I did some really awesome flying in this match. There's going to be a second match in here as well. This is all for your binge watching pleasure. Uh, like I said, we're going to do at least one of these a week, probably two a week if I can. All the extra footage that I can, if I, if I don't have a place to put it, if I've already done a video on the aircraft, this is where you'll find them, guys. So, I grabbed a little bit of altitude early because that's how I fly this plane. The top speed is not really that fast. It's just over a thousand kilometers an hour which means that anybody could dive on me, catch up to me real quick. So I prefer to have a little bit of altitude, and that, that keeps me safe. So we pop a head on on the Hunter. I'm going to miss that shot. We're going to continue on. I'm not going to turn. Once I get up to about 800, 900 kilometers an hour, I start a slight climb. Most 90s, the Sabres especially, even the MiGs, they can't keep up with you in a slight climb. That little bit of afterburner, it goes a long ways in this aircraft. It's very, very helpful. So right now, unfortunately, my, my squad mates are down on the deck. And it's no fault of their own. They're, they're flying aircraft that don't have nearly as much power as I do. But I am up here where I feel safe right now. And I am in control of this fight. So I don't want to dive down early because there's still a lot of guys down here. Or sorry, up here. So I'm just cautiously waiting. I'm waiting for somebody to come up in front of me. But unfortunately, it's not really going to happen. I go down here because I know my squad mates are getting a little bit overrun. And I want to try and make a pass. And I look and I see this F-86 that's up here. He's in space. And I know that I can go straight up to him. And I can do it safely because there's nobody else at this altitude. I pull up towards him. I see that he is hanging for a MiG-15. So I just started at 2,000, 2,500 meters. I'm going straight up. And I think he catches on. He might see me coming. I'm blasting off a little bit early. Honestly, Aiden's don't really reach past 800 meters. But we're going slow, so they might. But you see, I'm just doing short taps. Kind of felt like maybe that one should have hit. It didn't. But... Short taps, I'm not really wasting any ammo. And then finally, we make them connect. So I'm a little slow. I'm going straight back down. I'm going to pick up the speed again, get back up to my magical 800, 900 kilometers an hour, and we're going to keep fighting. The hunter comes at me. He dodges the head on a little bit. I was hoping to get him, but I just don't have enough pull. We're just going to extend. I've got a good speed. I've got a good energy advantage over everybody in this game right now. And that's exactly how I wanted it. The more these guys below me start turning, the more they're going to bleed their energy, the more they're going to bleed their speed. And the safer I am in the end. So we've got this Valtour in the distance. That thing doesn't like to bleed a lot of energy no matter how you play it. So we kind of want to get him out of the game, but he's not that much of a threat because I can usually outturn him. You try and get him on the head on, miss. He gets a little aggressive. Kind of caught me off guard, but mm, we're just going to continue on. F-86K is extending. Nope, scratch that. He's turning back towards me. He probably could have outran us, but uh, nope. Pop a couple shots. I'm not going to land him. Don't know why. But I'm going to stick with him because I know that thing can't turn that well. Here comes the Valtour at the same time. I'm compressing like hell. I roll out of his guns, and then I just kind of roll the other way to dodge the Valtour. Both are very easy to dodge. Both turn substantially worse than I do. And I'm just going to extend. We're going to go up. We're going to loop back down on top of him. See if we can get the 86K. I take a look and I see the Valtour is coming at me, but I got a bunch of guys coming on my nose at the same time, so it's a very ballsy move. I'm trying to grab it, we pop our bullets off at the uh, Valtour real quick, pull away, and uh, wow, that actually worked. Like I said, I'm actually impressed with my own play in this game, but like I said, I have the energy advantage, so I'm just going to go back up and loop back around. The guys in the distance, mm, I kind of want to get rid of them, but Rip already died, unfortunately. So I'm going to try working on this Hunter for a little bit. Now, if he plays it right, he should have more energy than me, or at least he should be faster than me if he drops his nose. But he doesn't really play it right, and he starts letting me get kind of close. So we try and line up the shot. He's rolling down. 
Yeah, that worked. All right, so I got an A5, I got an F86K, and I got another Hunter. And I don't have a whole hell of a lot of a team here. I don't know what these other guys are doing. A few of them are in space. So I'm kind of concerned. Correction, that's two Hunters. And F86, A5. And the 86K looks like he's heading back towards base. Now, I really want to try and get away from this F86, A5. A5 is a very, very good turning aircraft. The Hunters, I can handle the Hunters. I have no issues handling the Hunters. But an A5 can glue right to my butt. And that's not what I want. So we start looping over towards them. The other guys are coming in at the same time, so I feel pretty safe. We dodge the uh, Hunter real quick. Continue on. The A5 had already done a nice little 180. The Hunter's really not much of a threat. I roll over back looking for the Hunter, and then I realize that the A5 is actually turning under me. So here comes the A5 off my right. I went ahead and dove back in behind him because I see him as my biggest threat. We drop in behind. I got a little bit of compression at the speed. He's diving towards the ground. I know he's got to pull up at some point. And he did. And there we go. So the A5 is out of the match now. We got two Hunters and an 86K that's back towards base. So I just have to deal with the Hunters. I'm going to keep my speed up. I'm going to wait for him to dive on me. And I'm going to try and pull inside him. So here he comes. Getting nice and close. I'm going to pull up, close the gap. And he pulls right in front of me. Well, now he's missing a wing. And hopefully missing less, but at this speed we're compressing a little bit. My rudder doesn't really work, so I wait for the shot, and he is now gone. Not too bad. Not too bad. I thought that was a lot of fun. That that right there, that's, that's the whole reason I enjoy this plane. So the 86K, and it looks like the other hunter is now back at their airfield. They're not going to last very long. That's pretty much the end of this match. I'm not going to show anything else. All right, so next match coming up is an up tier. So in this one, we're fighting a CO Mark 13B, a couple Hunter FGA 9s or whatever they are. That's really about it. This is probably going to be a worst case scenario. The only thing that could get worse is if you had to face a YS. And the YS, in most cases, is just going to outpower you. But he can't outmaneuver you. So it's really not that bad. Now, up tiers, this thing does really well. The, the highest it can face is, is you know, 9.7s, and that basically means the FGA-9. So this G-91 was going up, wasn't paying attention behind him. We got a nice easy kill. We're still doing 830 kilometers an hour. Well, down about 800 now. We're just going to continue on, keep moving, keep our speed up. Got a pretty good energy advantage over most of these guys. Got a CL-13 coming after me. That's a pretty dangerous plane. If he gets behind me, if he decides he wants to air brake me, I'm probably done. So I kind of want to get him out of the game early. So we dive a little bit we, we want to get a pass on him but he's clearly going to be a little faster than me by the time I get down if he just extends he can fly right away from me and to be honest I think he can out climb me fairly easily so I'm going to pull off him I'm going to let him turn I don't want to chase him there's no way I can catch him we got a swift over here we got a hunter high let's see if we can get one of them so drop the nose back off the afterburner because I don't want to get too fast where I can press swift he's not looking too hot the Hunter has already got somebody on his butt, but you know what? I'm going to try it anyways. The Swift F7 overshoots him. I'm going to try and get a shot here. We'll line it up. Getting kind of close to the mountains. Spray a little bit, but it didn't really work. But just going to stick with him. Take a look behind me. There's a G91 coming. As long as I go up, eh, he's not going to make that turn in time. And if he does, he will be completely out of speed. So I'm really not that worried. So I decide to turn back in behind the, uh, the Hunter. Keeping our speed up fairly well. Now the Hunter should be a little bit faster. But we will start catching him because he's been maneuvering. Pop a random shot. Not going to work. Catching him pretty quickly. He's kind of out of options now. He's got guys on his butt. Here comes another quick shot, and he is gone. Oh, look, an F-86 coming straight at me. Guess what? I've got four Aidens, guys. Yep. That just happened. So we've got quite a few kills now. The numbers are definitely in our favor, and it's going to be hard to get the rest of the kills. Uh, like I said, obviously... <laughs> What, four guys left, and I've got most of my team. And that's what happens when you when you get aggressive and you're able to get the kills. Honestly, it, it helps your team out so much more because the numbers are in your favor and the match goes so quick. And that's why a lot of you guys see this these situations. Oh, look, Valtour. Nope, not going to hit him. I'm going to dive after the CL, but okay. So that's why you guys see a lot of these situations where you're like, wow, that team, you know, they all sucked. Well, no, they didn't. They just got the numbers switched in their favor pretty quick. All right, so CL's going vertical. I'm already going fast. I got a MiG-17 behind me. I definitely need to bleed some speed because I can press. And here it comes. 
We're going to set it up. He's got guys behind me. I'm not afraid to dump too much speed because if he gets right behind me, if he air breaks, no, not going to work. Wait, why is this music playing again? I don't remember putting this in here. Oh, yeah. Yep. All right, so we got him. We're moving down. I'm really slow. Time to grab some speed. The CL probably should have taken a shot on me while he had it. But I'm too slow to turn inside him. I'm too slow to keep up with him. We're just going to stay tight with him so he doesn't have room to maneuver and get a shot if he so wanted to. And he's going to extend. And that's a very... Whoop, never mind. Goodbye. Good job, Red Baron. That's pretty awesome. I, I got to give it to him. Here comes the Valtour. They can't really dodge. And he's got a lot of people coming at him right now. A lot of people coming at him. Tries dodging a shot. Pull it! And... Wow. Aiden's failed me? Well, they didn't fail him. I'm so confused. Alright, well... Two guys left. And they're gonna die very quickly. End of this match. You know what? Bonus one. I got another one. I'm not gonna narrate this because it was an absolute slaughter. But I'll throw it in here for the hell of it. Hope you guys enjoyed the footage. Let me know what you think. This is the Nightlies. I will put these in their own playlist here pretty soon. And uh, they will be there for your binge-watching pleasure. Thanks for sticking around, guys. Give me a sub. Give me a like. All the support. Really appreciate it. Thanks again. We'll see you.